we had dentist appointments this morning. We are home now. Um, it is 11.30. I edited a video while we were sitting in the, the doctor's office. So I was just sitting there and I thought about reading. So I took my Kindle. And then I was just like, no, I'm going to go ahead and get some editing done. That way I don't have to do it when I get home. So there's that. I mean, I still got to edit because I still got another video that I have to get finished. Um, but yeah, we're home. I'm hungry. We stopped and got breakfast. Wasn't, um, I was hungry. We stopped and got breakfast. I was hungry. So I didn't eat. I took my coffee and I drank it, but I'm getting a little hungry now. It's 1130. Um, but I think I'm going to go downstairs and get, am I going to get a workout in or am I going to eat first? I don't know. I just wanted to pop on here and say, hey, hope everybody is doing good. Um, yeah, we're just going to record today because that's what we do so now. But we'll just see where the day takes us. Me some lunch. It's 2 o'clock. So I'm going to make this food and eat it. I just added some sausage in here and one of those chicken apple sausages. What did I say? Added some cabbage in here and then some more of them chicken apple sausages. Um, with just a little bit of butter. My butter got a little bit brown. That's why it looks like that. But it's fine. It'll still taste good. And then I'm going to let this cook for a little bit. And then I'm going to eat it. And it's going to be delicious. And then after I get this done, I'm going to go upstairs and play around with my Cricut. And see if I can figure out how to make stickers. So, I need a couple of special stickers. Personalized stickers, whatever. And I think I'm just going to try to make them. So, I bought, um... I bought vinyl to try to do that. And we'll videos on there to see how to do it. And it looks easy as long as my printer will cooperate. Because sometimes it has a mind of its own and it don't want to do what I need it to. But anyways, we're going to get this food done. I'm going to eat it and then we're going to do that. Maybe in that order. That sun is warm, ain't it? Yeah. It's pretty good. So, yeah. Willie is taking a shower. John and Jonathan are at work. But me and these two are going to go for a walk. Let me start my watch real quick. Okay, so what I was saying is I done a little workout inside, but then um, the kids wanted to walk and it's pretty decent out here. What is it? 53 degrees? 53 or 54 degrees? So I put on a hoodie because I was kind of chilly in the basement, but didn't need the hoodie back on to be out here. It feels really good, which I might have been a little bit too cold without it. Um, Miss Wendy is taking some Yoda pictures. Hey. Cutie pie. Okay. You do you, baby girl. Oh, then Mr. Nolan brought him an RC car and a backpack. I don't know why, but he did. I have a backpack just in case if it runs dead. Well, that's smart thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I did need the hoodie. I'll have moments of getting super hot and then I get cold. So I'd rather be, I don't know, have a hoodie and get a little bit cold and then warm up. You know what I'm saying? But we're just out here getting a walk in, enjoying the decent weather while we can um i think as of now thankfully yep hold on i'll come look at it i gotta show i have to show brandy um but as of now they're just giving us a whole bunch of rain this weekend the end of the week it's not the weekend so it's better than a bunch of snow but they also are having a big chance of freezing rain which is not uh no thank you i would rather have snow than ice so anyways we're just up here walking i wanted to stop here so i could talk for a minute then we're gonna go head back uh don't want to stay gone too long like i could see the house like if somebody i could see somebody pulling into our driveway or whatever from you know from where we walk at but lily is up there by herself so we won't stay out too long where's it at the kids found a woolly worm and i have to always send them to brandy or show it on video or both here he is hey buddy have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be <laughs> I know who you're gonna be. 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 Who you're gonna be.
and then tonight for dinner i just decided to make a simple vegetable soup uh i like to call it trash soup because i just throw anything in that i have so I, obviously i don't follow our recipe so i'm using tomatoes carrots cabbage potatoes spinach a little bit of basil some corn some green beans and some chickpeas i think that's it and oh yeah, and I added two of the mini peppers just because John doesn't really care for them that much. So I don't wanna add too much of that to it. I would have added onions, but we didn't have none. So I would just go in with some onion powder. But I just enjoy making this. It's super simple and it is delicious. Um, I didn't add any meat to this one. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But John thinks he has to have meat with every meal. So I did cook some hamburger on the side and just added that to his portion of it. And that way he got his meat and I didn't have meat in it because, I mean, I think it's fine with hamburger. It is actually delicious that way, but I just wanted this to be like pure vegetables i don't know this just reminds me of childhood my mom used to make like a cabbage soup often when i was younger so i also add a bunch of seasonings because you know your girl has to have seasoning so i done onion powder garlic powder salt turmeric and then i didn't have any vegetable broth or chicken broth or anything like that so i just used a packet of red bouillon which I've, i'm sorry if i butchered that but i think it's just tomato bouillon it is really good um there it is so i just added that to it covered it with water i think i used six cups uh and you know you just eyeball it it's one of those things oh i also added pink salt obviously you have to have salt but this is really good um like i said i made john's with some ground beef and then my own i didn't um, I just added, what am I trying to say? Um, I put some cornbread in a bowl and then I added mine on top and it is so good. It is my favorite way to eat this. But I just thought I would share this. It's super simple, but sometimes we forget about simple and we think that meals have to be these big, elaborate, six course, 14 pan meals. Okay, I was, I exaggerated a little bit, but you know what I mean? Like you don't have to have big fancy meals. And I have noticed around here that the simpler the meal, the more that of it that gets eaten. Granted, nobody eats this but me and John, but you know what I mean? Like barbecue chicken with mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese, it just gets eat way more than a big fancy meal. So, I just thought I would share that with you really quickly just because it was delicious. I've never added chickpeas to it before. I was a little bit worried about it because John is, well, he's John, but he didn't complain. I'm not sure if he loved it, but he didn't complain about it. And I thought it actually was added. Um, it added texture to it. I like the flavor of chickpeas and it added a little bit of protein because without those, there wouldn't have been much in this dish. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. Um, yeah, it was just a laid back day, but that's what we do around here. So if you're not part of our family, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. And if you are, or you're just hanging out for a while, we love y'all and we'll see you next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content and live blessed. Bye guys. I just have to follow that because you don't know who you